guys welcome back to auto repair guys thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel in today's video guys if you have a mazda cx7 or mazda uh, speed 3 guys and you're trying to replace water pumps stay with us guys and we'll show you how to do that it actually might even work on the regular mazda 3 but i'm not sure uh, we will guys have more than 200 videos on this car engine and every car we get at the shop we're constantly adding new vehicles so please subscribe guys our goal is to save you as much money as we can all the tools and parts usually guys that are used in our videos will be okay listed in the description of the video below so please guys subscribe to the channel like the video and drop a comment below for all the hard work we do here at the shop so let's go ahead show you how to replace the water pump you will actually have to go ahead guys and drain the coolant as well before we proceed otherwise you're going to spill all your coolant out so let's do that and then we'll continue and show you what needs to be done so we have guys a spare engine that will go in this vehicle okay that's what the engine looks like this is uh, what we have here we started taking this one apart already your water pump guys is on the serpentine belt and this is your water pump so first we will need to go ahead and remove the serpentine belt stay with us we'll show you where to uh, what you need to do and all that stuff this is your serpentine belt tensioner okay with a 14 millimeter socket you need to go clockwise and you're going to release the belt pull it out and this is your pump guys now before you remove the belt i would recommend to get these three okay these three bolts uh, loose because the belt will be holding the pump so you can actually get those loose with a 10 millimeter socket ours we already did that let us show you guys how to remove the belt and we'll continue so now guys <clears throat> we need to release the belt how we do that okay with 14 millimeter socket guys okay we're going to go on the tensioner pulley go clockwise okay we'll need to lift up actually okay like that and when we do guys you can pull it out of this pulley okay and your belt will come out perfect just like that okay guys so we're removing the bolts now those are the three bolts on the pulley we just get ours loose and after that most of the times they will go by hand We have guys so many videos on this engine, we'll be taking it completely apart, we have uh, videos for uh, high, uh, high pressure fuel pump, uh, we have videos for intake manifold, timing chain, head gasket, all that stuff. One bolt is out, two more to go. Okay, removing the second one now. Perfect, and then we just have one more after that. So don't forget to drain your coolant, because if you... Okay, if you forget to drain the coolant, guys, what will happen, you'll spill all that out which is poisonous, big mess for your shop, hard to clean, kills animals, so be careful, humans as well. So this is it, came out, okay. Now guys, what do we have for the pump? Okay, the pump, we have only three, okay, from what it seems, we have only three bolts, guys, that we need to remove. Okay, one, two, three on the bottom. Okay, and those are guys with 8 millimeter socket. You have to be extremely careful getting those tight. We have the torque specs on the channel. Please check it out because if you over torque those, you will break a bolt. And you don't want that to happen to your engine. 8 millimeter socket now. Okay, and just getting them loose. As you can see, we have the power steering out of the way. You don't have to remove yours. We removed it because, guys, uh, we we did make a video how to remove power steering. That way we can gain more room and show you with the greater detail where things are. So those bolts are, okay, while we're removing them, okay, one, two, and then we have three, I believe is on the bottom. Okay, 
Okay, one is coming out. We're going to remove the bottom one now. That way, it will be a little bit more convenient so we can hold it for the top one. Okay, and then we just have this one here on top. Okay, let me show you where this one is. Okay, this one right here. Now guys, we'll probably still leak some coolant even though we drain it. Okay, you get the pump, it will be, okay, that pump will be a little bit stuck because of the seal. We have to make sure we don't have more bolts. It looks like it's moving, so we need to get a small screwdriver and just uh, pry it out. But be careful not to cause any damage to the housing. Okay, we always have to make sure that we don't have more bolts holding somewhere. Okay, you just have to pry a little bit on one side, go on the other one. You have to be extremely careful not to cause any damage to the housing. Okay, you have to hold it with one hand because it will drop at one point. Okay, you can see it definitely. Came loose on this side. We did leak some coolant now, this is understandable. Okay, now let's see. Okay, you can see you pull it towards the front because you have your power steering, so you're going to come all the way to the front and pull the pump like that. Good thing about it is, okay, you can see the gasket is really thick gasket on those, so usually they don't develop leaks there so much. So this is it guys, this is the pump, that's how you guys remove it, hopefully the video will be helpful to some of you guys. Uh, please check out the video how to bleed the cooling system on that car. Thank you for watching guys, please hit that subscribe button for more videos, and see you guys next time.